Welcome back to the studio. Ladies and gentlemen. Today, <laughs> you're throwing me off. Today, we're going to be looking at the uh, Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder team. Team. I, so I don't know team. what that is, but it's more more, love more and love thund- and thunder. thunder. A little bit more love, a little bit more thunder. Mm. Uh, you know, it, uh, approximately one minute and 20 seconds of more love and thunder. <laughs> let's so, just get into yeah, let's it. Let's go ahead and get into it, and then we'll talk about it. to be like a relaxing holiday. Human handshake to the Asgardian shake into the snake that you cannot trust. Really dragging this out and finish the classic Asgardian high one. In theater of July 8th. Tickets on sale now. All right. That's Thor Love and Thunder. That's more Love and Thunder. That's more Love and Thunder. Uh, it seems like they're really going heavy on the... Uh, the love portion of it? The Well, the, the I, I want to say, like, the humor. Oh, yeah. I right? mean... This... The ham. To the, be the honest, cheese. To me, I know it has the, the rainbow bridge. It has Thor things in it. Mm-hmm. This feels like more like a gar- like Guardians, Guardians. to me yeah. than a Thor movie. Uh, the you know the previous Marvel movies have always you know tried to sneak in a little bit of uh, yeah, humor, humor, and it it, it kind of stemmed. I would say almost all the humor stemmed from Tony Stark, the way Robert Downey Jr. played Tony Stark and delivered his lines. Yeah. You know those little quips of humor and stuff. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you didn't see it quite as much in Thor or the uh, the first Captain America movie. Not really. Um, but we got quite a bit of it with every Iron Man movie and with the Avengers movie. And then it was like every movie after that had to have that kind of Tony Stark-esque humor of quippiness. Uh, and I understand it from Spider-Man. That's always been his thing. Yeah. But when you, t- you have like a serious movie. I mean, I, I would agree because the first Thor, the comedy that we got was this... The brute, the like the male ego yeah. and, of Thor, and it was like I love this drink, I like it, another. But it mm-hmm. just felt like because he was such like a god and like a you you know this yeah it wasn't this small like snappy right. comment type um of. and the you know so so they they put it in the more serious stuff and it doesn't quite it work as well mm-hmm. uh, but when they when they throw all of it into like a guardians movie or like a yeah. Thor movie it feels like it works a little bit better some stuff's obviously not gonna land um but to have kind of a a little bit of a humorous vibe so we watched um dr strange the multiverse of madness mm-hmm. and walking away from it we said hmm that didn't seem like a Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness movie. That seemed like a Scarlet Witch movie. Right. We already talked about saying Guardians probably won't be in it that mm-hmm. much, but do you think there's going to be some element or do you think it will be very It, heavy it definitely form? won't be like it won't be like Doctor Strange where you know it Scarlet Witch is such a big part of it. I yeah. think I don't think they're going to be in a ton of the movie. Mm-hmm. Um but I could be wrong. Yeah. I could be I, wrong. I, they probably aren't. I would agree with you. But I'm curious because they are showing us a lot of this Jane Foster character. Mm-hmm. If it's from our timeline, if it's from a different timeline. Yeah. If wh- whoever she is, 
I'm curious how much they're going to show of her. I think she's probably she, going to be in it a, a fair bit. She's going to be in it a lot. Probably. I would say, it, you know, there's going to be... If the Guardians are only in it for a little bit, yeah. When once they leave, there's going to be a little span of time. Then they're going to introduce her to sort of take the place yeah. of the Guardians uh, as somebody for Thor to interact with. <clears> yeah, <throat> I, I would agree. And then there's also like... Um, Valkyrie, Am Valkyrie, I, Valkyrie's yeah. character. Korg. Where, where is she gonna fit into all this? Yeah, because I, I thought she was ruling Asgard, like new Asgard. On yeah, this. new, new Asgard. And Guardians aren't with new Asgard. No, but they we, left we will see. It's gonna be an interesting movie. We got at the very two least. more weeks. Two not more next weeks? weekend. Not this weekend coming up. But next weekend. The weekend after that. So, that is our. Thor Love and Thunder. This mm -hmm. is the final Thor Love and Thunder thing we'll probably do unless we, you know, review it on the podcast. If you want to see that, go check out our podcast channel. Yes. Um, but if you enjoyed us watching this, then like, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.